What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Humbug Outdoors Fishing. It's your boy C. Smith here, and today we're going to be doing a, another little tutorial video. This time it's going to be on my favorite drop shot knot of all time. So this could technically work for other stuff too, you know, if you're fishing in the surf and, you know, you want a hook like that to just leave out, you know, if you're doing like a high-low rig, this would work as well. However, I found it's the best for drop shotting, really because it keeps that hook pointed straight up at all times. So yeah, I'm gonna kind of go over how to tie the knot and hope you guys enjoy the video. Alrighty guys, so to start this very simple knot, all we're gonna do, uh, you know, I just have some thread, you know, some twine today to show you guys for a better visual. What you're gonna do is basically say this is going up to your rod and reel, right? This is the bottom of your line. All you're going to do is just insert the hook in, you know, to the very end of your line. The key here is make sure you insert the hook so that the point is up. So for instance, when I'm drop shotting, right, it's going to look like that. The hook will be facing up. And that is key because you want to hook the fish in the roof of the mouth. So, you know, so you keep them pinned. Uh, you know, your hookup ratios are going to be better that way. It's just better. Just, just do it. Put it up as much as you want. You know, for a typical drop shot, I like six to seven inches. However, you can always do a little more because if you take up a little line on the knot, you'd rather have too much because then you can just cut it to what you want or, you know, clip the drop shot weight to whatever, you know, length you want. So I always start with a little extra than what I need. And to start the knot, it's extremely simple. All you're going to do is take your line, either side doesn't matter, and just loop it just like that. All right. So all you're doing is you're just, you're not putting it through the eye. You're just looping that line just like that. All right. Boom. All right. Then we're going to take this, our actual hook, and we're going to put it in the line, right? And we're going to put it out the other way. So if you noticed, it kind of looped that line a little bit. Well, all you're going to do is do that five more times. So basically there will be 10 loops in total, five on each side. So you're going to just loop that over again, right? Boom, there's two. There's three. There's four. And there's five, all right? So if you see right here, you know, there's a lot of loops on each side. And this is the line that goes up to the rod. It just was, you know, a short piece of twine. But you have that right there. And then all you're going to do is you're going to pull. And if you notice when I kind of pulled that, that brought that line together like that, that's completely normal. Just let that happen. Then you're just going to take your two and you're going to pull them together. Uh, you can put a little saliva before you do this just to make sure, you know, it doesn't heat up not too much. But when you're done pulling it, to know you did it right, you should see some kind of stacks of line on each side. And that's it. I mean, if you notice, right, look at how well that drop shot hook is holding. I mean, this is a catfish hook, but if you notice, look at how, I mean, it is forcing that hook upright. There is no way that hook is bending up or down or side. I mean, it doesn't matter. I can literally, look at this. I can screw with it as much as I want. When I hold it back, it is going to go straight up like that. So there it is. Alrighty. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the stuff you're supposed to do for a YouTube video. And yeah, hope you guys utilize, you know, learn to do this knot by heart and utilize it out in the water, especially when you're drop shotting. Uh, it will help tremendously on your hookup ratio. So, cause it just hooks them in the corner of the mouth every time. So yeah, see you guys next time on Humbug Outdoors Fishing. Yee -yee -yee.